even though our chicks are free range, I always have water accessible to them. Three inside and three outside, especially in this heat. And no matter what their size is, whether they're little chicks like these guys, they're about 12 weeks old. This is our Orpingtons and our Rhodesian Reds. They just come up at the end of the day. They start pecking and eating. They eat all the treats off the floor during the day. And then by the end of the night, they're all fat and happy. They come in about this time every night around 8 and 8.30 and they just all put themselves to bed. Once they're all in here, they come out again about 9. And I just make sure everybody's tucked in for the night. They perch up there in the very top. Oh, he's already up there. Hey, buddy. Hi, Frankie. Anyhow, Frankie's always the first one to perch at night. He's sleepy. The other ones are just all up here. They tur take turns later on this evening. They'll all be up in their little buckets and nesting boxes. <laughs> this little guy. Oh, no, that's Frankie right there. He looks like he has a black toupee on. <laughs> He's our leg bar. As they get older, their hair stands up on top. It's so cute. That's little Miss Buttercup. Anyhow, they can poop all they want there and I won't go in their feed or their food. In the morning, I just hose it down on jet from the hose. You don't want to get things wet in here. I always keep it dry in here. Otherwise, it gets very wet and stinky. So I just keep it dry in here. I sprinkle Italian seasoning down to keep away all the pests and keep the chickens happy. And they like to peck and eat all the herbs out of there. It's great for pesticide, antibiotic for them, just a natural pest repellent. And we don't ever have any flies in the chicken coop. I love it. Have a great day. Come eat peeps.